uh, time talking about two main issues which I think is really crucial before us. One, issue number one, talking about what is social entrepreneurship. Why is it different from conventional entrepreneurship? How do you actually make impact and yet make money, right? That entire block is what uh, one block that I'm going to focus on. The second block that I'm going to focus on is why should you start or why should you have rather started yesterday, right? Don't wait. Why should you start today? Because if you don't start today, you're going to miss an opportunity, right? So that those are the two pieces that I'm really going to uh, focus on. So let me start with that first piece. And this is a piece that concerns me because as I go uh, across forums, the question asked is, is social, isn't social entrepreneurship uh, normal entrepreneurship? Why is it different? And I think that worries me because it is underplaying the challenges involved in social entrepreneurship. So let me ask you, and don't quote me please outside, is Amul the same as Hatsum? Is family the same as Arun Wills? Is uh, Arun High Hospital the same as other ones? Right? Are they same? And if they're not the same, clearly there's something about social entrepreneurship that is different. And I'm sure some of you here might argue that they are same, but I, I'll try to uh, make my point as to why they're not the same and why there is a breed of entrepreneurs that will be created, will be inspired, will, will scale their businesses in the years to come, who will be different. And the reason, the first reason why they say, why they're different, is because they see an opportunity in the poor as customers or producers. Amul saw an opportunity in small growers, small farms, one, egg, one cow, two cow, farmers, small and marginal dairy farmers as their target customer. They started procuring for them. They did actually create 100 cow farms. They actually worked with livelihood farmers who, for whom milk was important. That's what Arvind did. At the core of their DNA was the entire pricing model which actually said every rich uh, person would subsidize three persons. And that was core of their DNA, their pricing DNA. The point that I'm trying to say is the first point, they targeted the poorest customers. They believed that the poor need to be served and that was a target community. So, so 